Okay, so we're gonna be cold calling live today using Thomas Gonnett's cold calling script. He says he gets three to five booking appointments every day using that cold calling script. So we're gonna to have to try it out. Um, but essentially, Thomas Gonnett is an upcoming successful agency owner. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm honored home, this is Robin. Hi, am I reaching the owner of Madison Modern Home? Yes, you are. So I'm going to be honest with you. This is a cold call, so I do have someone to pitch your business. Would you like to hang up now or give me 30 seconds and then you can decide? <laughs> Thank you for the option. I have to head out to a staging job right now, literally right behind my team. So thank okay. you for giving me the option. I'm not talking right now. You know, I really appreciate it. I wish more people would do that. Of course. Um, yeah. So if you want to send me an email, I do read. Okay. The emails that I received. Okay. Do you have my email address? Uh, I don't. Do you mind if I, okay. um, yeah. I'll give it to you real quick, and I do have to actually head out. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, definitely. Great. All right. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks so much. Yeah, take okay, care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So that was the first call that uh, went through. And um, according to her, she liked the decision or the the option I gave her. So, um, so far, 10 out of 10. Even though it's not a booking meeting, I still get to send her an email. And who knows, potentially she'll uh, be a potential client. We'll see. On to the next. All right, so I've done one cold call and it was a very successful result. So let's see. Hi, am I reaching the owner of Nicole Ballard Design Group? Um, yes, it's Nicole. So I'm going to be honest with you, ma'am. This is a cold call, so I do have something to pitch your business. Would you like to hang up now or give me 30 seconds and then you can decide? Um, I'll give you 30 seconds. Great. So I checked out your website and saw that you do full service interior designs and we help yes. interior designers with their client acquisition. So hypothetically, if you work with us, we actually handle your entire advertising and appointment setting process. So we get you at least five full service interior design appointments in your calendar every month or your money back. Does that sound like a fair deal? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, great. So uh, what we can do is schedule a quick Zoom call and I could show you exactly how the process works and what that looks like for some of our current clients. Sound good? Yes. Okay, when do you have a quick 30 minute uh, time? Would it be tomorrow um, or the next day? I would say Wednesday would be a better. Let me just double check something really quick. Okay. That's the first. Yes, Wednesday, the first. Wednesday, okay, gotcha. Uh, does 9.30 a.m. work for you? Yes. Gotcha, okay. All right, and, and what was your name, ma'am? Nicole. Nicole, okay. Um, all righty, see you then. Okay, thank you. Of course. All right, take care. Well, that was um, the second call that went through and it just booked a meeting. Simple as that, guys. All you have to do is just pick up the phone and start dialing, just like Jordan Belfort said, okay? Um, so I'll do a few more. I've only done two. And so far, it's a 100% success rate. So I'm gonna keep going and just to show you how easy it is to just pick up the phone and just start booking meetings for your agency, okay? Well, next. Hi, am I reaching the owner of Gilbert Interior Design? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a cold call, so I do have something to pitch your business. 
Would you like to hang up now or give me 30 seconds? And then uh, you can just... No, I'm in a meeting. I cannot talk right now. So let okay. Me I'll, I can send you an email if you'd like. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. So you can see that the email is not working. Honestly, I think that's a no-go. Um, I'm just going to move on to the next. I could send her an email. I can. But um, on to the next. Yeah, on to the next. One thing to note, too, um, what I've learned from cold calling is... If a prospect clearly says they're not interested, just move on to the next. Don't try to pitch them or try to overcome that objection. Uh, you're cold calling already, so it's already a hard sell in itself. So if someone says no, just simply move on to the next prospect. That's what I've found to be the best way to approach these cold calls because your time is very valuable and uh, you don't want to waste time and energy into a prospect that doesn't want your services. So just move on to the next one. Reach Ross, please leave a message and I'll get back to you. All right. And honestly, you don't really, I mean, you can make, the, the more cold calls you make, obviously you're going to book more appointments. But I think when, when you're first starting out, people are always telling you, make as many cold calls as much as possible. Um, I think just start with the first step. Just make that first cold call and gradually go from there. Um, you know, when people tell you to make 100 phone calls in a day when you haven't even done it, that can be very overwhelming. So just start with one cold call, honestly, and just work your way from there. Hello? Hi, am I reaching the owner of A Plus Interior Design and Remodeling? This is A-plus interior designer and modeling, but this is not the owner. May I take a message? Oh, no, it's okay. Take care. Thank you. So another thing to note, too, is me personally, I don't like to waste time and energy on gatekeepers or um, people that aren't the owners. Uh, it's just a waste of time and energy, in my opinion. So just move on to the next. Design group. This is Susan. Hi, Susan. Is the owner in today? Um, no, she is not. Is it okay if I take a message? No, it's okay. I'll just call back another time. Thank you. So another tip too, when I'm cold calling, I could already tell if it's not the owner, um, just the way they pick up the phone. So that's why I asked, is the owner in, instead of saying, am I reaching the owner of the business? So uh, that's just another tip you could pick up when cold calling um, to not waste time and, and again move on to the next if they're not the owner this is marika hi marika how are you i'm good how are you great so i'm going to be honest with you this is a cold call so i do have something to pitch mm -hmm. your business would you like to hang up now or give me 30 seconds and then you can decide <laughs> I'm actually eating my breakfast, so I'm gonna let you go, okay? Okay, no worries at all. Have a great day, bye bye. All right, take care. Hello? Hi, am I reaching the owner of Courtney Bates Interior Design? Yes. So I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a cold call, so I do have something okay. to pitch up. Yeah. Okay, I'm not interested, sorry. And I'm on the other line. No worries, take care. Okay, bye. See? See, happens, happens. If that happens, just move on to the next. Move on to the next, easy. You also have to keep in mind that, you know, as a business owner, if you were to get a random call out of nowhere and someone tries to pitch you their service, it's kind of like, why the hell would I listen to you, you know? But, um, so you always gotta keep that in mind. So if someone rejects you, don't take it personally. Just move on to the next. Hi, am I reaching the owner of Pam Rigney Design? Thank you. So I'm going to be honest with you, ma'am. This is a cold call, so I do have something to pitch your business. Would you like to hang up now or give me 30 seconds and then you could decide? I think I'll just hang up now. Thank you, though. For sure. All right, take care. So yeah, if that happens, if they say no, just simply just move on to the next. Um, but essentially, that concludes this video. Using Thomas Connett's script, I was able to get one booked meeting and... Another prospect 
gave me their email so that I could send them uh, what we have to offer. Uh, but essentially that email could lead into a potential client. It's been done in the past. So honestly, this the script has been very successful and I only made 20 cold calls. So uh, if you make 100 cold calls with the script, it, it's bound to, to work for you. So um, I thank Thomas Garnett for the script and um, I'll see you in the next video.